All right, welcome back, everyone. Thanks for coming back and checking out another video. Again, really appreciate you guys checking my videos out and liking and subscribing. Today I have a new product that I picked up. It's the Microsoft Surface Pro. This is the one that came out last year in 2017. And they came out with a new configuration that I picked up and I thought it was perfect for me. It's this... Um, it has the Intel Core i5, uh, 128 gigs, gigabyte of uh, SSD, and then 8 gigabyte of RAM. And I think that's just perfect for me because it's cheaper than the uh, 256 gigabyte SSD model. And I honestly don't need 256 gigabytes. I use a lot of cloud storage um, and an external hard drive, so I didn't really need that. And so when they came out with this and it was a couple hundred dollars cheaper, I thought this might be worth it. So I picked one up and I'm going to review it. So in terms of hardware, it's the exact same as all the rest of the 2017 Surface Pros, but in case you haven't seen that, I'll go ahead and just run through it quick. Obviously the Surface Pros are known for the kickstands. Um, this one folds very far back. You can see it almost folds all the way. Um, it's very sturdy. It's very easy and fluid to move. So you just pop that open. Lean it back, and you're kind of set to go. The keyboard props itself up, and then we'll take a look at the I.O. So on this side, there's just a, a headphone jack and a little notch to um, easily open up the kickstand. On top, there's just this power button and volume rocker. And then on this side is kind of where all the I.O. is. You have your mini display port, full-size USB, that's their proprietary charging slot. And then if you prop this open, there's a micro SD card reader right there too. So you can just plug one in. And I like how they kind of hid that um, underneath this kickstand. On the bottom is just uh, where you can attach the keyboard. And that's pretty much it for the hardware. The nice thing about this is that you can kind of customize it however you want. The tablet itself comes in this kind of silver, I think they call it platinum color. So that's not really customizable unless you put a skin over it. But you can buy different um, uh, keyboard colors. This one's the Alcantara uh, platinum one. And then I personally just like the uniformity of kind of the all platinum. So platinum tablet, platinum keyboard cover, and then I got the Surface Pro. Um, uh, arc mouse as well and I got that in the same color so that I like the uniformity of it but these all come in I think the three or three or four different colors so the surface pro signature type cover feels great in my opinion it's one of my favorite keyboards even though it's not even attached to the device uh, it's magnetically attached but it has great key travel. The only thing I will say is that it has a little bit of a hollow feeling to it because it is just incredibly thin like this. But key travel is great, it's super responsive. Um, the Alcantara fabric feels amazing in my opinion. Some people are worried about it getting dirty or, you know, wearing down with time. I personally, I'm, I'm not, a, you know, super worried about that. If I can get a couple years out of this, and then if it does end up getting too dirty or too worn down, I can always just buy a new one. And <laughs> that's probably what Microsoft wants me to do anyway. So, um, but overall, the trackpad is great. It's, it's super responsive. It has the window precision drivers to it. And um, you can kind of hear the clickiness to it. I'll, I'll... So in my opinion, the display on this device is amazing. It's 2736 by 1824 has the pixel sense display that Microsoft has on some of its products. It's a touch screen, so you can touch and use it as a tablet. The colors are very vivid, it gets very bright. Um, you can see it's a little bit reflective. Um, and then the bezels are a little bit big, but that, that also helps you hold it as a tablet so you can pick it up and you won't be touching the screen. So in my opinion, it's just a, it's a great display. If you're a video editor or photo editor, I think this is a great option. So I've personally had this machine before. I had the Core M3 model with four gigabytes of RAM and I knew that I was gonna be underpowered, but I was just gonna see if I could possibly make it work. 
and unfortunately I just couldn't. It was just too slow. The four gigabytes of RAM would just get bogged down too fast. And even though I love the hardware of it, I love the two-in-one aspect of the Surface Pro, how lightweight it was, the display is amazing. I just couldn't get past how slow it was. And the, the upgrades to i5 and i7 were just getting to be too expensive for my budget. So I was really uh, happy that they came out with this model, that they came out with the i5, 128 gigabytes of RAM is perfect for me. That might not be enough for some, but for me it's perfect. And this thing, it's speedy, it's fast, it doesn't get bogged down like the Core M3 model. And I'm really, really happy with it. I think I'm going to stick with this device because I've loved the hardware of the Surface Pros for a long time. It was just finding that right configuration for my usage. So, so I know this is just a quick review, but hopefully some of you guys are like me where you're kind of looking for this mid-tier configuration of the Surface Pro because it's a great laptop slash tablet replacement, but the lower models like the M3 uh, processor types are just sometimes they're going to be too slow for many people, and then the upper models are just too expensive. So. This one was $9.99. I picked it up at the Microsoft Surface Store. Like I said, it's kind of a newer configuration that they're now selling. So I'll put a link in the description to it so you can check it out. Really appreciate you guys watching again. Um, make sure you stay tuned. I mean, I, I come out with a lot of videos. I'm going to keep coming out with a lot of videos. Hopefully you guys like it. If you have any suggestions or comments, leave them below and I'll get to them. Again, thank you and we'll catch you on the next one.